hello, I'm Harold Erickson, and uh, I'm working with Basin Electric here to uh, establish an experimental fish pond. And uh, the, what we were doing down here this morning was uh, um, installing an intake pipe into the river to pick up a combination of either ri uh, river water or the warm effluent river, or the effluent uh, off the condensers from the Leland Oles plant. Now this water is uh, 27 degrees warmer than the river itself and uh, most all winter this water will be pumped from that pipe and up this pipe that comes right here in front of you and which will be connected over to this far pond. I feel that we can get about optimum temperatures year round by using uh, the warm river water during the cold weather and the cooler river water during the summertime so that we can get two years growth in one. Uh, uh, the fish that we'll be stocking in here, we'll probably stock in the neighborhood of uh, 30 to 40,000 uh, fingerlings as soon as we get done here, which will only be in a few days, I hope. And uh, most of these uh, fingerlings will be used for pond stocking yet this spring because it's gotten late enough in the season now that I was intending to feed them out and, and market them dressed. But I think we'll hold off basically on that part of the, the program until this fall where we've got time to finish them out through this next cold season. Discharge, there will be about 1,350 gallons a minute of water circulating through these ponds continuously. And the reason for that is to maintain the proper temperature and the proper water chemistry and with the, to supply the oxygen and keep the fish uh, happy and healthy. Uh, we'll, these fish will be fed uh, daily uh, and will depend on the number of the feedings will depend on the temperature of course so if we try to maintain them between 60 and 65 degrees they'll be fed about three to four times a day and uh, if everything is like we presume it will be why we'll be able to get about 14 inches of growth each year in length regardless of the fish size that we start out with uh, trout growth is figured in uh, what they call temperature units. It takes 21 uh, temperature units above 38.9 for one month to make them grow one inch. And it's, uh, this is a determining factor in the metabolism of the trout. So of course uh, this warm water is going to give us a tremendous growth advantage in this climate. Uh, if we can handle all the rest of the associated problems, why it looks tremendous. The ponds are uh, about five feet deep, and the surface area around the outside of them covers approximately one acre. Uh, when you take the area of the dams off and the cross dams, there's about a one-half surface acre of water remaining. We can get up to about 67 degree water uh, during the coldest weather and uh, the flow that we are going to run through them, I think that we can maintain the temperature between 60 and 65 degrees almost all of the time. Now, uh, until we get the water in there, of course, this is speculation <laughs> and uh, see what happens, but we feel that this is what we can achieve with it. Well, I would like to thank uh, Basin Electric for all the cooperation they've given me. I mean, it's been just tremendous. We've had uh, about every problem you can encounter here from frost and cold water and cold weather and uh, uh, they've helped uh, with pond construction we've done this jointly we use some of our equipment and some of their equipment and uh, every time we've come up with a problem why uh, basin people have handled it just tremendously it wouldn't have been possible to do this without their help 